Hello guys. In this video you will see the latest features uh, and improvements of World of Joystick Simulator uh, we developed uh, during the last half a year. So the main idea of this version was to provide uh, joystick support to Windows 10 TV boxes and TV sticks. So let's uh, start from uh, GUI elements and uh, in the left top corner you can see uh, separate switches for pulling array of buttons and axes. It means that uh, processing of uh, buttons and axes uh, now we're doing uh, separate threads, so it uh, really improves the quality of mouse movement. Uh, the next new element uh, in UI it is uh, automatic checkbox. So it is like in the car, so you can uh, switch uh, configuration manually as previously for each application, uh, pressing the open. Uh, new configuration button and uh, also you can uh, use this option to switch uh, configurations automatically so if I press uh, another application you can see uh, configuration switch it automatically so, and in the tray you can see application uh, displays the icon of uh, currently active application So now in uh, all the configurations we have uh, three common buttons. Uh, first one is uh, left stick button. It always opens the new help window where you can see on the, all the assigned elements. So you can see now configuration one for Windows Explorer is opened. So the same button closes it and the next button is uh, next configuration. It means so uh, each configuration can contain and uh, each application can contain few configurations. So if I press the back button now, you can see here in the tray icon changes to number of current reactive configuration so I press it again, 1, 2, 1, 2, it is total so Windows Explorer has uh, uh, two configurations now so this button is for switching uh, internal switching of configurations and uh, the next common button is uh, start start uh, always opens the new World of Joysticks keyboard so this keyboard you can uh, assign, you can uh, adjust the size of it adjust the size of it make it smaller, bigger by shift you switch it to shift mode, caps to caps uh, press on the toggle uh, right stick button switches the languages so this language is not supported by it. application band Russian is yes supported let's go back to English uh, ok now I close the keyboard and uh, next feature is uh, navigation on the desktop so you can see by left stick I navigate uh, through the uh, icons of uh, Windows desktop and I can run something it's similar to uh, Android the same we can do in the menu ok, 
Okay. Uh, now task manager. Also, we can navigate in the in the task manager. So we can see three application opens and choose one. Uh, also, we can uh, open new desktops. Desktop. Google Chrome. Let's switch to Explorer. Explorer. You can see create desktop, close desktop. Let's open new desktop. Now I switch between desktops. And we will close it. Okay, so let's see how we use uh, multiple configurations for, for an application. So in a desktop, uh, I switch now to a second configuration. You can, you can see second button is active. In, if I'll check what it does, it's written configuration 2 for Windows Explorer. So I have assigned the controls of internal uh, radio player of uh, Later, and now I can uh, use a radio. You can see the radio it starts playing. Now I switch back to the first configuration. Now I can play something. Uh, if we'll see next song, choose volume. Oh, and let's go to, to Google Chrome. By the way, we can close as previously our emulator to tray. Let's open Chrome in full screen. Now we'll see the keyboard. Let's stamp, type something. Select some video. Type something else.
scroll it. Start page. We can switch by left stick, switch tabs. We can do zoom. That's all. Thank you for watching.